In this exercise, we will turn on the reaction block in the autoclave tank model. The reaction submodel may be enabled in a number of SysCAD units, including tanks, tires, pipes, thickeners, and so on. So to turn on a reaction block, if we right click on the unit, in our case, the autoclave, so I'll right click on that. And then on the first page, you'll see it has this EB block, which is the evaluation block. And there's a number of submodels in this block. We want to turn on the reactions, which at the moment are off. So if we click on the little arrow, and we can click on On Auto Sequence. And what that does is it turns on the reaction block, RB. And you'll see here an evaluate sequence. We've now got RB and then VLE. So the auto sequence is a default sequence for the way in which Cisco is going to evaluate the submodels. In our case, it's going to do the reaction block first and then the VLE. If you wanted those in a different sequence, you could enable sequence yourself. If I click on this arrow, you can see you could say sequence one, sequence two. So you can change the order. But in our case, we're going to leave it in that order. So when we turned on the reactions, you'll see this RB tab has now become visible. So if we click on that RB tab, we come to the reaction block page. So on this page, there's a thing called RCT name, and that's the name of the reaction file. If that is blank, then what you can do is you can browse for an existing reaction file if you want to use an existing one. Or, as in our case, if we click on Edit RCT, Syscad will create a reaction file with the same name as the unit, in our case, Autoclave. Okay. So if I click on Edit RCT in this case, Syscad will start up the default reaction editor, which in our case is the Syscad reaction editor. In the next exercise, we will add the reactions using this editor.